with that. Now he shifts gears and he talks about lust in verse 27. You've heard it said of, of those of old, you should not commit adultery. But I say whoever looks on a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with, with her in his heart. Now look, that doesn't mean if you see a pretty girl or a good looking guy as you are right now, no. but will <laughs> It doesn't mean that you notice someone is attractive. You say, well, there's a pretty girl. Oh, there's a good looking guy. That's not what this is talking about. This is talking about seeing that person, but then allowing your mind to go to the wrong place. Uh, in fact, the word that is actually used here to describe this phrase, whoever looks on a woman, isn't referring to a casual glance. It's referring to the continuous act of looking. Not an incidental or involuntary glance, but an intentional and repeated gazing with the express purpose of lusting. This is the idea of a man, or even a woman, that would put themselves in a place where they would look at others to stimulate, feed, and encourage their lust. And Jesus is saying this is like committing adultery. Now sometimes you don't do this on purpose but you're exposed to something that you wish you had not been exposed to but then you have a choice as to what you're going to do with it. A good example is uh, David, the king of Israel, who was up in his rooftop patio and uh, he happened to notice a very beautiful woman named Bathsheba bathing herself. And uh, he couldn't have helped noticing her, I suppose. And I'm not quite sure that Bathsheba did not know that he would have a good view of her and did not put herself in that place. There is a responsibility on her part too. She was culpable. She cooperated with David. She could have refused his advances, of course. But uh, David saw her. So there it was. Now he could have turned away from it, but instead he acted on it. And you know how the story unfolded. He had her brought up to his chambers. They had sex together. Uh, she was pregnant. And then instead of just coming clean and admitting it, he wanted to make it look like her husband was the father of the child. So he called the husband Uriah in from the battle and wanted him to spend the night with his wife. But Uriah wouldn't do that. And ultimately David had Uriah sent to the front lines and he was killed in battle, effectively had him murdered. And then David married Bathsheba, thought he covered up his sin. And then, of course, uh, Nathan blew his cover and confronted him and said, you've sinned against God. And then tragically the child died after it was born. It was just a mess, you see. But it all started with a lustful look. And so we need to think about that. That is why Job said, I've made a covenant with my eyes not to look on a woman. But a better translation would be not to look lustfully. You're going to see women and men, but don't look lustfully. You, you actually sometimes have to literally turn away. Maybe you're walking down the street and approaching you with some gorgeous girl or some great looking guy and, and your mind's going to the wrong place. Sometimes you need to avert your gaze. Just look away. Don't look that way. Maybe if you're watching television and something comes on the screen, you know it's going to stimulate lust. You need to stop it and there's a button on your remote control. It's usually red. If you push it, images disappear. It's called the power button. Words and just click whatever sites pop up. You might have images appearing on your computer screen you wish you had never seen before. Be careful. Guard your thoughts. Guard what you expose yourself to. This is the idea that is being conveyed. Let me add one thing to this. Not only should men not be looking lustfully at women, but women need to think very carefully about the way they present themselves so they don't encourage lust. Don't. But there is a responsibility in the part of the girl as well. There's a word that we seem to have taken out of our vocabulary. We need to get back again called modesty. And Christian girls are to apply it.